Cancer, hello. Let's see what we have for you today. My name's Jackie and you're watching Romany Tarot. Okay, Cancer, let's have a look at the cards that came out for you, your Oracle cards. Uh, you have the Manifestation cards that came out from the um, Numerology deck. You have Message of Concern that came out from the Kipper. You have Optimism from the Quantum Oracle cards. Uh, Discovery from the Oracle of Radiant Sun. And then you have this Not Today from the Love Oracle cards. Okay, so I'll go through those cards one by one and I will be pulling some tarot from the Fairy Tarot and see what comes up for you, Cancer. Okay, so um, yeah, let's get on with the reading. So first of all, Cancer, you have this uh, Manifestation card. All right, so I'm just going to have a look and read a little bit from the book for, for you. Okay, so by drawing this card, let's have a look. Okay, there's your card. By drawing this card, you are being reminded that successful manifestation requires more than just positive and wishful thinking. You must also surrender the outcome to the divine and detach from the results. Remember the law of attraction works both ways, so pay attention to your doubts, worries and fears and monitor your negative thoughts. Then focus pre predominantly on what you want rather than what you fear or don't want. All right, so that's uh, what that card's about there. So, uh, yeah, so I think we're looking at worries as well. So we're looking at fears, worries, doubts and stuff like that because you do have this message of concern card right next to that one. All right, so I think something's been bothering you, Cancer. All right, so uh, you have been, I should say, concerned about something here. All right, so I feel it could be somebody... I feel that you're avoiding somebody at this particular time. So before I read the optimism card, we're going to go on to the discovery card first. So you do have the discovery card. So I feel here that this is also a card of um, travel, taking a trip abroad, someone visiting you from far, from afar, from a long distance. And then we have this um, Not Today card from the uh, Love Oracle deck. All right, so this card says Not Today. So uh, I feel you're avoiding a conversation, you could be avoiding a conversation with someone. All right, uh, because you're still angry with them in some way. You just don't want to face them. Or, you, you know, you haven't got over something that uh, that's bothered you maybe for some time you know whatever your situation is right let me uh have a look at this card now this is the optimism card all right and from the book this card says so we're looking at old blocks of falling away and you are choosing like this will be for some of you cancer all right so you are choosing to see the light at the end of the tunnel there's an increased optim optimism taking hold in your attitude and you're finally determined to raise your consciousness to a more positive outlook. This reveals a much more beneficial mindset than you may have had in the past. Your attitude of optimism ensures a very bright future, perhaps one you may not have been expected is on its way. All right, so for others of you, because of the other cards that have come over for you, message of concern and not today, uh, that's avoidance and uh, dealing with hurt, um, avoiding a conversation, all right, because you still feel upset or angry about something. All right, so uh, if we're looking at the reversal of this, when this card is reversed, the sun is setting, representing a darker view of things. This could indicate a situation where plans may have stalled or a hoped for outcome may have been may not have been to your liking. 
Well, it's natural to be frustrated. Don't let the darkness of pessimism engulf you. Whether, you, whether your neg negative outlook is a long-held habit or due to a recent situation in your life, this card is telling you to rever rever reverse the negativity now. No matter what has happened, you do have the option to create a more positive view and live in a consciousness of optimism. It starts with your approach to every single day. Find the potential for joy there and determine to create it for yourself. Make the conscious choice to maintain your, maintain your optimism through any dark time. As you shift your neg negative outlook, you will shift what the universe sends you. That beautiful valley of abundance awaits. All right. So that's really nice. All right. So don't... Uh, I think uh, I think I I would say look on the uh, I say look on the bright side of uh, of of something or someone. All right. So if someone is trying to contact you, maybe by messaging you, sending you text messages, uh, phone calls, anything like that. All right. So um, excuse me. I thought someone was going to come in then. <laughs> All right. So you you. You know, you just don't want to deal with, deal with it at the moment. All right, and I feel this is something to do with some sort of distance between you and uh, a certain person uh, in your life. Okay, so let me pull some uh, tarot cards now. So as I said, I'm going to pull these from the um, fairy, the fairy tarot, and see what comes over for you. We're going to pull one card on each of these oracles and see what we have. Cancer. your first card the moon okay uh, this is one of your cards as well cancer so you do have the moon card all right this is about letting go of worry and fear understanding the truth of a situation all right so whatever your situation is um maybe you've had some you're feeling very intuitive as well at the moment with the moon uh, with this card and it comes with the manifestation card as well all right so remember the, that law of attraction letting go of worry and fear and sort of uh, thinking on a more positive on the more positive side of life okay all right let's see what we have with message of concern okay so we have the three of spring with message of concern um so let's have a look. Plan your next steps, all right, with an eye on the long term. All right, so it's time to plan your next steps with an eye on the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. That's uh, just some of the meanings there with that. But the three of spring has in this deck is like the three of wands, all right? So it's all about planning and um, and sort of waiting. Uh, if we look at the tarot meaning of the three of wands, I mean, this is the tarot one. Every deck's got their different sort of meanings. But for me, I get this feeling of you getting this message of concern and sort of waiting for uh, waiting for someone maybe you don't really want to deal with is uh, coming forward, is uh, sort of coming into coming to visit you, you know, anything like that. All right, so that's the sort of feeling I'm getting with those two cards because we have that message of concern because, uh, of course, we're expecting something to come in. And, of course, you've got that discovery card, which is all about sort of uh, taking trips, travelling. It's about foreign places. 
this is a Mercury in Sagittarius uh, card as well. So foreign places and stuff like that. All right, so I do feel that you you're gonna have some. For you, this could be an unwanted visitor, someone that you don't want to see, someone you don't want to deal with. You know, as I said before. Okay, so we have the magician. All right, with the optimism card. So that's great. So the magician is about uh, a new beginning because it's the number one. Uh, you can do anything. All right, take cha take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need for success. And it, there it goes, manifest. And we do have that manifestation card there, uh, the first one. All right, so you can manifest what you want. Uh of course, the magician, of course, that's Mercury as well uh, with that magician card. So uh, I'd say intellectual conversations, you know, you know how to speak, uh, you know, maybe know how to speak to people and stuff like that. And uh, maybe stay optimistic. You could surprise yourself as well by uh, someone that's coming in that you, you're avoiding a conversation with. You could be prepared. You could be quite surprised with yourself how you deal with it, you know, especially when you're speaking to this person, because I do feel that uh, they're coming in regardless. Of, you know, it could be unexpected. It could be quite by avoiding and thinking that they won't come and stuff like that. But I think they are, they're definitely coming in and you're going to have to have this conversation with them, with them in some way. OK. Let's have a look. So we do have uh, 14. So, so this is balance. So this would be the temperance card, the 14. Take, uh, and this goes with the discovery card. So take ev everyone's input into consideration. All right. So what everyone has to say, you know, so listen to both sides. You know, you put your views across, let them put their views across. You could look at something quite differently here. All right. So looking everyone's uh, viewpoint or taking everyone, taking different viewpoint points into consideration, uh, merge viewpoints to create a better solution. Take your time. There's no need to rush. All right. So don't feel rushed into making any decisions as well. Um, maybe that's what you're fearing about having a conversation with someone is, is feeling rushed in some way. OK, all right. We, so we do have the star here. So you've got some lovely cards. So you've got three, major, four major arcanas that have come out for you, Cancer. So the star card is a lovely card. So look to the future with hope and optimism. There we go. There's that word. And we have that optimism there with that card. So the power of faith to move mountains, happy changes that bring relief from challenging times. So I do feel that you have been through some real challenging times, Cancer, OK? So, uh, yeah, so maybe, um, you know, hear someone out. That's what I want to say. Just hear someone out, regardless of how you how you felt in the past about them or how they've upset you or you felt, you know, annoyed with them in some way. Maybe just hear them out and see uh, what they have to say, because it could sort of surprise you in some way. OK, Cancer. So that's what I have for you. As I say, my readings now are short and hopefully sweet. <laughs> and I'll be back with your December. I'll try and do a nice Christmas special as well. So uh, please do take care. Look after yourself and God bless. And I'll be back soon. Bye, Cancer.